Let's go, baby. everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Beacon Mix Create. I did receive this item to try out, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. The first link, if you're in the US, will take you to an Amazon live stream featuring this item. You can find it in the shoppable carousel down below the stream. Just browse it to the left or to the right until you find the item that you're interested in. Who knows, maybe there'll be a couple more items you'll wanna check out as well. Well, be sure to give us a follow over there as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Very simple and straightforward with Beacon's logo and branding and a nice outline and graphic of the mixer itself. This is available in black or white. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our USB type C to USB type A cable and we have the Beacon Mix Create itself. This is so lightweight. Look at all of our lovely knobs, buttons, and controls right here, our beautiful display. USB Type-C port on the back. And the very bottom, we have some additional product information. Now let's go ahead, let's plug this into our computer, go over to Beacon's website, download the software, and let's try it out. So now we have everything all set up and ready to go. We have the Beacon app downloaded on our PC. We also have the Beacon Mix plugged in and powered on. I mean, look at this device right here. Beautiful five inch display, very easy to see all the controls and channels and everything that we're routing and wanting to control and have quick access to. Multiple knobs, buttons that are customizable and we can change the RGB. We also have our arrow keys. If we wanted to add a couple additional channels up here at the top, we can move to the left or to the right for easy navigation. And we can swap between our own audio as well as our audience audio with just the quick push of one button right there. And lastly, you may have noticed too, we added a microphone here. We're rocking the Beacon mic. The audio that you're hearing is being processed and routed through, you guessed it, the Beacon Mix Create. Now that we've looked at the hardware, let's go ahead, let's dive right in to the Beacon app and look at the software and what this is capable of doing. So within the Beacon app, this is the screen you're going to be greeted with. In our case, we have two different profiles on the left-hand side because we have two different Beacon products connected. You'll be able to find your Beacon Mix Create right here in this menu where you can add profiles, save your current one, duplicate it, or delete it. Then in this screen with the icons, we can view our devices again with their different settings. So here's all of our mic settings. Here's our Beacon Mix Create settings. We have two different icons to go over. The first one, your settings gear icon. This is your generic device information where we can update firmware, adjust some of our power settings, app settings, you get the idea. Next, we have our main control panel, whatever you want to call it, where we have our different channels that we're going to be routing with our different mixes. So... First up, we have mic, music, chat, and system by default. You can drag and drop these. You can even remove them as well if you want to delete that knob. Don't worry, though. We can also add additional options. Maybe we want to add a game. Maybe we want to add some additional hardware auxiliary. You get the idea, right? So we have all of those set up and ready to go. Now, looking at the mic, we have a couple different options here. We have this lock icon. If we select this lock icon, now mic will show up on every screen. So if we look at our screen on the actual device, we have mic in the left corner. Watch as we browse over now. We have all of our additional mixes that we added, but mic is still here. So that's super convenient if you always want to have access to mic and chat and then view just a couple additional settings every once in a while, you can do that here. Just lock whatever ones you want in place. Super convenient. Very nice that we have that option. Now, I thought it was interesting. I don't know why when I unlock it, it goes all the way to the back. Not really sure why that does that, but you can just drag it back to the front again if that's what you want to do. And you can lock multiple together. So again, you can browse them all every time you're navigating on the device itself. Next, we have our adjustment right here, our volume. So you're seeing that. We're able to adjust that together, paired together for both um, ourselves and our audience. So that's what you're seeing right there, which is pretty cool. But if you don't want to have that together, you can go ahead, you can unlink them and pull it for one versus the other. So say you don't want to hear yourself or whatever it may be, you might want yours louder or quieter. You can do that right there within the app. And then what's also really cool, we can actually then relock them into that ratio. 
and they'll adjust again. How cool is that? I love that. I think that's awesome, awesome, awesome. So it's up to you what you want to do. Again, keep the ratios. Don't keep the ratios. Have them locked or unlocked. Full customization for you, whatever you see fit. Next, right here, we're selecting our hardware. In this case, our microphone is our beacon mic. But what's nice about this, if you wanted to add additional hardware like we've done over on this side, we could maybe route it from our capture card, things like that. You get the audio controls there as well. So I really like that feature. Super helpful if you're doing like a dual PC stream and setup. They make that very easy for you. Next, music's going to be very similar to chat or system or game. It will show up right here where the source is coming from. So in this case, we've linked our music from Spotify. So we have that playing. That's Music Chef, if you're interested. It's DMCA, um, free stream safe music for content creators to use. So we have it muted for everybody. You may notice down here our mute settings and our different icons to mute or unmute very quickly by clicking or clicking buttons on the device itself me now we're back and you should be able to hear me just fine as we're talking so you can control those buttons right there do you want to mute to all mute to audience or mute to chat right so one's for the knob one's for the button you pick which settings you want and you can vary that between each mix that you're controlling but now since we have it muted let's go ahead let's unmute our music and let's give it a quick little listen so we have it muted for everybody we're going to go ahead now and we have it unmuted pretty cool right and then we can turn those knobs. We can turn it up. Let's go, baby. And then just play around with it and find the setting that works best for you. If you want to listen to the music while you're streaming or doing whatever you can, you can mute your channel, just have the audience listen or vice versa. But very easy to do and control right there. Press the knob, everybody's muted. If we go ahead and just press this, then it's just muted for the audience, but I can still listen to it if I want. So pretty neat, pretty cool that we have that option and luxury. Same could be said again for chat if you're connecting Discord, things like that, your system or the game, all those controls are similar. So it'll just show up right here like Spotify does when you have that source coming through. Next, we have our personal mix settings. Where do you want to output this? So we have it currently in our headphones, but we can add two sources, which is cool. So we also have it coming through our monitor speakers. If we wanted to toggle this button, then we'll be able to do that right there. We can choose where we want it to route. We can also control our audience mix right here. So if you want to toggle between the two, we can go ahead, we can just hit that. And there we go. We have all of our audience controls now. And we could go back if we wanted to have our personal mix. So very easy to toggle between those two. Don't forget we have the option on the hardware itself. You can press this button. And now we've toggled between both mix settings. So audience, and we're back to personal, back to audience, back to personal. You get the idea there. So very nice. Again, super easy um, to access everything. Okay, down here, you may notice a lot of red. I probably should have told you about that earlier. I didn't want to reset my window settings because I still use my GoXLR to film parts of this video, so I didn't want to mess any of that up. So you can reset that. You'll be good to go. Um, for me, I just didn't want to do this yet, but we have our default devices. We can choose those right here and set that up. So very easy again, default. Look at all the sources that we have. This will vary depending on your computer setup, what you have connected, but this is what we're rocking with right here. So you can control all your assignments very easily. We also have a routing table. This is kind of a more permanent mute button. If you want to kind of call it that, basically you're just going to choose where you want audio routed and when. So this is what you're doing right here for each individual channel, right? So what do we want for our mic? Where do we want it to go? Well, I don't want to listen to myself talk, so it's never going in the personal mix, but I want my audience to hear me with my mic. Voice chat, definitely, right? So we have that drop down here. VOD tracks, if you're doing that. So you get the idea of music. Who do you want to listen to it? I don't want my chat to hear it. I don't want, or my voice chat, excuse me. I don't want my VOD tracks to have the music, but I want my audience that's enjoying maybe the stream or whatever it may be to hear it. So really nice, really convenient to have all those different sources. Then you can go into like OBS and choose the one you want to add, depending on if you're, you know, capturing, you know, VOD content or things like that. Same with the chat system game. I mean, it's all the same. You just route it where you want it to go. So just click and click again 
and you're all set for each source that you've added up at the top. I mean, that's really it. It's that simple. The hardest part is just, you know, putting it all together yourself the first time. So trying to get everything done right. But they make it very easy and it integrates very nicely, obviously, with their own microphone. But you could use other mics as well. But if you're looking for a way to easily route and control audio for streaming, gaming, content creating, all that good stuff... They have done it in a nice, small, compact form factor. Again, easy, clear, super simple to follow, to route it wherever you want. Integrates really nicely with OBS. That's what we're using right now to capture all of this. And we're just capturing the audience mix. So very simple for us. Really quick, you might be wondering, hey, David, you haven't showed me yet how to change the color on my Beacon Mix Create. Well, I'm so glad that you asked. Very simple. Go up to the channel that you want to change. So in this case, we want to change our mix for the mic. We're going to right click on it. And here we go. We have access to all of these different colors and just choose whatever color you want right there. You could even enter in your own value as well. Now, let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the Beacon Mix Create. There's a lot that I want to share, but first I want you to know the background that I'm coming from with my experience. One, I've been a full-time creator for a couple of years now. Two, I've been using the Go XLR for a couple of years. Three, I film and stream all of my content through a PC using, you guessed it, the Go XLR. And four, I'm not a computer programmer, audio engineer, or anything like that. And I think that last one's really important because that's where a device like this excels for the everyday creator that doesn't know know all that stuff. This allows you to save so much time to be able to route everything properly and have everything set up and basically a drag and drop and drag and click interface. So I can't stress enough how important the software is to the hardware that we have with the mixer itself. So it does a really, really nice job. The next thing I want to point out is this is very affordable compared to, let's say, the Go XLR. So technically, you could buy the Mix Create and the Beacon Mic and still come out a couple of dollars ahead of the price of the Go XLR. So that's really, really crazy to me. Now, sure, there are some things that are different between those two devices, but I would argue if you're a dual PC streamer, this is essential for you. So much easier than trying to configure it with with the Go XLR. If you're just the everyday streamer, maybe you don't use a lot of the sound effects, things like that on the Go XLR, those won't be missed then on the Beacon Mix Create. And don't fret about that. If you're already an Elgato user, maybe you have a Stream Deck, you're using Voice Mod, you can integrate all that directly with this. So theoretically, you're not missing it besides just having some physical buttons, things like that. But that's where you could supplement this with the Stream Deck. Chances are you probably already have one of those anyways. So it's really kind of a wash there. It just comes down to, do you want that all-in-one unit or separate? Do you care more about hardware or software? I think for me personally, the only thing I'd want to see improve with this. Well, there's a couple things. One is I would love to have maybe touch controls too. I'm being spoiled. I don't know if that's possible and how much the price would have to increase. Two, I'd love the display to be able to adjust up and down. You could adjust the tilt. That would be cool. And lastly, I would love to have at least a USB type C port on this to connect our beacon mic directly to it versus having to route it to the computer. Not that big of a deal. I know this is very software driven, but it would be cool to have maybe a couple USB ports on there, maybe some XLR ports to kind of piggyback off of some of the success of the Go XLR with all those capabilities connected directly to it versus your computer. Again, not a big deal, especially if you're using the Beacon mic, but if you are planning to get this with an XLR, just keep that in mind, how you're going to connect that to your computer. You'll have to have another piece of hardware. Maybe you already do. Again, no big deal, but something I'd love to see added in the future is can I get this with some of those ports and that would be top tier but overall very simple easy to use small and compact too again if you want to keep this on your setup and it's very minimal and out of the way versus the big and bulky go xlr so you really can't go wrong with the beacon mix create in my opinion very very solid audio mixer and router for your streaming and content creating needs